last time out, some encouraging signs. The ground game got going. It looks like you guys were, were firing on all cylinders there. <laughs> Not well, on all, all cylinders, but, but you know, one thing we did do, we did a lot better job of controlling the line of scrimmage. And um, we sort of uh, dominated that area of the field um, on the offensive side of the ball. And that opened up everything for us, especially our ground game. And uh, we're still not as efficient near where I want to be offensively throwing the football. Um, but we had a lot of good shots. Jordan made some good throws. There's just some, some things we got to keep cleaning up with him being young and being inexperienced. But um, uh, for the most part, I love the way our offensive line went out. And, and for the first time, we really controlled the line of scrimmage. What do you think of the challenge this week? You're facing a big defense that it kind of gives you multiple schemes there. Yeah, they do. They, you know, they go get out in, from an odd front to an even front, back and forth. And they got big guys, especially at the nose position. I told um, I told Brad this is a Super Bowl for him. This is his Super Bowl. He's got to play well for us in there. He's got a big assignment. He's got two two guys. I mean, their starter and their backups really good nose nose guard guys when they play that odd front. So it's going to put him on the aisle a little bit um, in some situations. But um, you know, I, I think we can. I think we can move the fall. I, I really think we can um, go out. We just got to start fast. We got to get some confidence. Keep gaining that confidence week by week. And we need to start early and um, and, and have a good performance. How has, just in the short time you've been here, how has Mitch developed as a blocker? Oh, he, he just just watching him, you know, he's always had the want to, but I just think he's got just what up from what I, you know, listening to Coach Burke and those guys, he's just been a lot more physical and been more determined to be a better blocker and, and maintain his blocks and be more physical at the point. He always has that want to, and there's no desire missing from that. He's never had that, but I think he just wants to add a little bit more physicalness to it. And he's bigger, stronger. He feels better about himself, and he's really controlling his blocks. And we're running behind him. That run game last week was a lot behind him, and um, he did a great job on those linebackers. You guys have had your fair share of explosive plays, but it hasn't really been consistent. What do you guys need to do to keep things consistent all season? Well, you know, that's that's one thing we're missing some is the explosive plays. We had a few in the run game. Uh, and then a couple passes uh, last week. Um, but we're missing some easy ones, man. We're missing some easy touchdown throws. Uh, and Jordan sees them. You know, we show them to him on film, and, and we're just a little late or we're a little bit off here or there. But um, they're getting better. We're getting there. Um, but we're, we're just going to continue to work. I love our attitude. I told them the other day, I, you know, the first two weeks, I was about ready to take a vacation. I, <laughs> I wasn't seeing no improvement. I didn't. I'm figuring, man, what have we got to do? I've never been in this situation with two weeks in a row like this with this performance. But man, the last, you know, we had that, that confidence builder against um, South Carolina State, that open week. And I started seeing us really play faster. We're not thinking. I see us go out there and playing without, uh, playing a little bit more aggressive. And, and, um, and then last week was a little bit better. So we're starting to see improvements. I'm getting excited. I'm really excited about where, where our capabilities are. We got to get healthy. You know, we got to get Jordan totally healthy. I mean, he's playing out there. He's not totally 100%. So we got to continue to get him healthy and keep him healthy. And I think if we do that and our offensive line continues to grow in that run game, uh, then we'll, we'll get where we need to go. Jordan and Blake, how are they doing right now? Well, Blake is, you know, Blake's struggling right now with his high ankle sprain. So I know he's, he's still getting some doctors looking at it and determining what they need to do with that so he can go. Um, and then Jordan's, you know, his hand, his, his hand was hit two games ago. We pulled him at halftime, uh, came back, played good last week, even though he wasn't 100%. And, um, you know, he's still struggling with it this week. So we've got to continue to get him healthy. And um, I think by Saturday he'll be ready to go. It looks like it's going to be nice and sunny and it's going to be um, a nice day. And um, I think he's going to have a, a really good day. I think his ankles, which is really important for us, his mobility gives us that extra dimension. And I think he's going to be almost 100% as far as that's concerned. It's like Miller took advantage of the starting opportunity uh, Saturday, two touchdowns. How impressive have you been with him? Well, we always say, you know, the reason we, we put him in there is because that's a position that, um, you know, if you get man coverage, he's working really against the third or fourth best coverage guy, if you think about it. The two corners outside, and then you move inside, and, you know, that third or fourth best guy, we got to have a guy that can go win against that guy. And Miller has really showed that he can run really disciplined routes. He runs the kind of routes, and we're starting to get it. I mean, Dukes came in there at the end, that last touchdown that pass we threw with Kirk. I mean, he, he called about freaking receiver or freaking DBs. We don't want to just run a route. Anybody just run a route and make a hard throw for the quarterback. We want it where my grandmother can make the throw. You know, it's so wide open. And um, Miller's making those kind of routes easy for our quarterbacks for completion because he's so wide open. And then Dukes did the same thing. So that's why I'm excited. O-line's going good, starting to really come off the ball. And, and their foot fires staying. They're not just leaning on people. They're really driving, getting their foot drive and staying in it without, throughout the whole play. And then our, our, our receivers are starting to really take hold of how we taught routes. It's really 
go in there and really kill the guy, you know, at the top of the route. Don't just run your route. And uh, so I'm starting to see those things. That's why I'm so excited. Speaking of receivers, St. Felix had that touchdown. How encouraging was it to see him to make a play? Well, it's good. I, we need him because, you know, on that back side, um, well, you're going to get some one-on-one -on -one situations. And when we do, we got to give him a chance to go make plays. And, um, you know, he struggled a little bit the, the first part of the season. But, man, that last week was really good. That's what he can do for us in a one-on-one -on -one situation. He has great ball skills. He's a big physical guy. And then we've also put Stanley over there now with him at X. Um, so we've got some physical guys over there at that position. We think can now go give us some one-on-one -on -one balls if they give us one-on-one -on -one situations. Kerwin, do they have two big, talented nose guys that they move in and out? Yeah, they do. I mean, their starter's really good, and their backup's a big physical guy, too. So it's going to be a big uh, big series for us inside with our guards and our center. Coach, if you, you talk, go ahead. Go ahead, Jay. Coach, you talked about the block. Uh, before the season, you talked about got to try to find a way to get him the football. One thing we've heard over the week was how could we win a game like that without him really being involved in the offense? Is that still kind of a work in progress, figuring out where to put him in a position to succeed? Or is it that he's put so much stock in that running game? Because you can tell his blocking's getting better week by week. Well, you got to remember, Jake, Jacob caught two or three passes, yeah. and that's his position. <laughs> Somehow he got in on the wrong plays as far as catching balls. You know, there's three targets right there. And then he had another one that, that he, the guy, I think, pulled him down that we was throwing to a bench. So, you know, they're, they're rotating. Jacob's playing really good, and Burke wants to get him in there. And it gives Wilcox a rest. And, we don't just say, oh, well, Wilcox ain't in there, let's throw it. You know, that's just, it worked this way like that. I mean, but um, listen, we game plan. I, I, I don't game plan a whole lot. Um, I, I game plan more, um, and I've told him before the season, you got to throw your, your um, you know, your ability to be selfish out the window because this offense is so, you got to be unselfish because no one's going to get highlighted. One week it's going to be this guy, next week it's going to be these two guys. We game plan by what we see the coverage is going to give us the opportunity to attack. And so last week it was a little bit more where we knew in the red zone they were going to come after us. So he stayed in to help protect the quarterback. And we knew we was going to have Miller and some other receivers in one-on-one -on -one situations. So that, that sort of takes him out of the red zone. The week before, you know, against South Carolina State, we had some plays designed for him to get some touchdowns. He caught two touchdowns. So it just goes week by week. We just try to take advantage of what the defense gives us. But if there is opportunities, we try to find those opportunities for him because he is such, such a reliable source in, in, the, in the passing game. Because your offense is like that, where it's relying on so many different guys, is that kind of maybe the reason why it takes a little bit longer? Because it's not like, hey, we're going to throw it to our two yeah. wide outs or our one tight end. Everybody's got to be on their P's and Q's pretty much every day. Right? Yeah, I mean, we got to have everybody step up. That's what you know. That's what. That's why the guy kids are excited because everybody knows every week there's going to be some people highlighted about what the defense is showing us that we have opportunity to attack, and it's not just made for one or two guys, and and um, and so. With that, though, we got to have everybody step up. When we throw the ball out there, they got to make plays, and, and we got to have that production um, if we give them guys a chance. And I think they're starting to do that. You know, I'm starting to see guys really do some things that we've asked them to do, and they're starting to carry it into the game. They've done it in practice, but you get them in the game, and they get nervous. They get in a speed butt position, and they start rushing things. Now we're starting to see them really take their time and really kill people in the passing game, and that's what's, that's what's so, so excited right now. If you care to disclose this, who graded out best among your linemen last week? You know, I, I don't. I know Norman, Norman Marcus graded out in 89, 90 percent. Okay. And you know he's been struggling out some. We we've challenged him, and I tell you what, Marcus played a physical football game. He did a great job in the passing game with protection, and I'm I'm proud of the way he played. I'm proud of the way Billy stepped up. The two seniors, um, you know, that left side, uh, Atterbury, I mean, um, Brad. You know, Meech, mm -hmm. and, um, and boy, Donovan's playing the best I've ever seen. I mean, he's playing great at left tackle. He is unbelievable right now at left tackle. So we just challenged them two seniors. Y'all got to go play now, and they really picked their game up. And I think that's really where we got going, is that now we had all five really playing at a high level. Thanks, Thanks Kerwin. Thank you.